After 34 years of traveling through space, the Voyager spacecrafts are reaching the edge of our solar system. The 1,600-pound clunky twin crafts were launched 34 years ago on a mission to fly by Saturn and Jupiter and send back images and data. The Voyagers have long accomplished their initial mission, which was then extended. Voyager 2 became the only spacecraft who had visited Uranus and Neptune. They've now gone beyond the orbit of Pluto, leaving the planets behind as Voyager 1 prepares to enter the interstellar medium, the space between stars. For Boston University astronomer Marev Offer, this is an opportunity to measure the heliosphere, a bubble carved in the space outside our system by the sun's solar winds. The craft has already passed the point where solar wind slows to subsonic speeds, known as termination shock, and are now traveling through the heliosheath, where the solar wind is slow and turbulent. Soon, perhaps this year, Voyager 1 will reach a point where the sun's influence is no longer strong enough to push back the interstellar medium, and further into the bow shock, the area where the interstellar medium itself is slowed. It will be the first spacecraft from Earth to be in interstellar space. The Voyagers have enough power and fuel to operate until at least 2020. Then they are destined to wander the Milky Way, perhaps forever.